Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am this Curvy Yogi and I am back with my day six vlog for Black History Month. And you have to excuse my hair. I'm on day number two of my twist out and it's not looking good. So today what we'll actually be talking about is a few of the influential black leaders and not just the typical ones that everyone knows, but a few new faces as well. And it's a very short list and what I'll do is I'll also link down a couple of lists that you guys can check out as well after I give you mine. And so let's get into it. And so we all know the typical leaders like, you know, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X people that have been in the history books for a long time or that everyone has known about for a long time. And so with this vlog today, I just want to highlight a few of the new up and coming leaders or the ones that have already made history. And so to start this list off, and I know this will probably be a little cliche because everyone is probably gonna have this on their list as well. So I just wanted to start with Barack and Michelle Obama. Not only were they the first family or the first black president and the first black first lady of the United States, they basically helped to confirm our dreams as kids. So as kids, you know, you want to say that you want to be anything when you grow up, especially president of the United States. And not until then do we actually believe that or we could actually see that it could happen. And so that's what they provided for us was a an example, an example of being president, being first lady, and not only just first lady, but just being able to take initiative as a woman and create projects to help change the nation and the world. So Barack was, of course, our president. He's still my president because I don't I don't really own 45 but you guys can have him and he did his best to with everything in his power I must say to help everyone but of course you have people that disagree with that and I think you have to understand that it doesn't that they don't have as much power as we all think that they do but Within his own power, he did what he could to make a difference, and so did Michelle. And I just love that they represented what our families most typically look like. You know, especially black love, how they love each other, they love their kids, they raised their kids, and their kids are also wonderful girls. And, you know, people have something to say about that as well because they're kids, but you have to remember that they're kids, so. But anyway, that is my first example or the first two people that I wanted to put on my list of influential leaders, especially with Michelle having her Let's Move campaign and just trying to lobby for healthier lunches for kids, trying to help our kids or the people. These are the kids that are our leaders, our future leaders. So she's just trying to help to help them to live longer and live a healthier lifestyle. And so number two is Maxine Waters, who is the um, a member of the House of Representatives, and she represents California's 43rd district. And Maxine Waters is nothing to play with. She has been, you know, an advocate for the poor, the minorities, and for women for a long time and she even speaks out now you know she speaks her mind against our current president and just speaks her mind in general and she does what she needs to do in order to get her point across and fight for what she believes in and most importantly what's important for the people and not that she's just starting to get light she's starting to get light because of Twitter and black Twitter most more specifically because that's where she talks about the issues and everyone always backs her because she's always 
dealing with some kind of backlash from the political community, whether it be her wigs or her hair or whether it just be her attitude. And I just I just love her. Nicknamed Auntie Maxine. I love Auntie Maxine. And so if you're not sure or you haven't heard about Maxine Waters, I suggest that you go and look her up. And so now I kind of want to bring light to the corporate leaders. And of course, you know that it is hard to move up the corporate ladder if you are black and more importantly, if you're a woman. And so I just wanted to bring to light the new, a couple of new CEOs, COOs of big companies, which kind of continues to give hope to everyone else who is climbing the corporate ladder, especially someone like myself. And so the first is Rosalind Brewer, who became the COO of Starbucks. And she was the former CEO and president of Sam's Club, which is another big company. But for her to move up to Starbucks as well is just a major accomplishment. And then we have um, Ursula Burns, who was actually the first black woman to become CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And she was president of Xerox, and then two years later, she became the CEO. And so she has been there since 2007, and I think 2009 is when she became the CEO. And so she's not with the company anymore, but was still a big milestone for women, black women in general. And so we also have Kenneth Chenault. I think I said that right, I'm not sure. Who has been the CEO and the chairman of American Express since 2001. But he is also retiring. So that means we'll be down to three other CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. And the first is Ken Frazier, who is the CEO of Merck, which is a pharmaceutical company. And then we have Roger Ferguson, who is the CEO of TIAA CREF, which is a financial services company. And then lastly is Marvin Ellison, who is the CEO of JCPenney. And so those were the corporate CEOs or the leaders in the corporate um, industries. Last, I want to do the leaders of basically social justice movements. And these three ladies created a movement that is still relevant today. And they are Patrice Kahn Colors, Alicia Garcia, and Opal Tometi. And they are the leaders or the co-founders of the Black Lives Matter movement. And so these three ladies created a movement which allows us to protest against racism, violence against the black people, and it also highlights racial profiling. And the movement is still going strong today. And there are also two men who are very influential in this movement as well. There's Sean King and D. Ray McKeeson. And so that was my list, that's the end of my list. And it was very short, but I just wanted to highlight a few people that are, have been influential. And so I'll also link down below um, the roots list of 100 most influential African Americans, as well as the 25 most influential leaders in politics and Black Enterprises 300 most powerful executives in corporate America. So we can go ahead and see all the rest of this black girl magic, black ma black boy magic, and just black magic in general. And so check those out and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think down in the comments, who you would add to your own list, and let's just have a discussion. And just remember, I'll be back again tomorrow with my day seven vlog. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel also tap the bell so that you can be notified when i upload new videos follow me on all of my socials and visit my website thiscurvyyogi.com for even more exclusive content so i will see you guys soon